Hello and welcome to Splinter's Library. I'm Claudia and this is just a quick announcement video for a project that I want to do this year. I'm going to call it the 1818 Novel Project and this really came about from my discussion video about how the representation of women has changed in the specifically the British novel between 1818 and 2018 because that's when I realised that I hadn't actually read a huge amount of books from the early 19th century. I've read a few, you know, I've read a few Jane Austens and some Shelley and things like that, but there really is a gap in my reading history, really. So I picked out six novels that were published in 1818 and I am planning to read them this year. So here are the six novels. The first one that I've actually started already is Frankenstein by Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley and it should be a fairly quick read, it's not particularly long. The others I haven't got a specific order for so I'll decide pretty spontaneously which one I'm going to pick up next. So I've got two Jane Austens on the list, that's Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. Persuasion was actually published in 1817, but the publication date as printed on the book is 1818, so I'm just going to count that anyway. I read Persuasion once a few years ago. I can't remember a lot about it, though, so I'm quite keen to get back to that one. And Northanger Abbey is the only Jane Austen book that I haven't read at all yet. Then I also want to pick up Nightmare Abbey by Thomas Love Peacock, which if I've understood correctly, is a sort of satire and parody of the Romantic movement, which Northanger Abbey is supposed to be as well, so it'll be interesting to read those two and compare them to each other. Uh, next up I have Marriage by Susan Edmund Stone Ferrier. I don't know a whole lot about this novel, but I have seen it quoted and cited a lot in the sort of literature that I'm reading for my PhD. So I'm very interested in actually reading the original. From what I can tell, it's a novel that presents quite progressive ideas about marriage and about the role of men and women in society. So that'll be quite interesting. And then I also want to read the Heart of Midlothian by Walter Scott, which is one of his most famous titles. It's a historical novel set in the 18th century and I'm just kind of intrigued by the setup of that. So that's the six books that I want to get to this year that were published exactly 200 years ago. I think that's quite an exciting project. I'm not planning to do it as a read-along type thing, but if you are interested in reading along one or more of these books with me, then let me know and maybe we can do it as a buddy read or something like that. I'd be quite interested in doing it as a sort of collaborative thing if someone's interested in doing that with me. So I will be recording a video about each of these books after I finish them and just let you know what I think of them. 1818, here I come. Thank you for watching. Bye.